In this video, we'll be diving into system settings to configure our F-Track workspace. The menus are grouped into sections in the left sidebar. New users finding their way around can deploy their browser search tool to quickly find the item they're looking for. The About page displays system-wide statistics and software version details. In the Account page, we can view license statuses and add new seats. On the custom branding page, we can upload a logo for branding review sessions and PDF report. The notifications page allows granular configuration of outbound notifications triggered by events in the left-hand column. In this example, I'll choose to send internal notifications to assignees when a note is entered on a task. Notes can also be synchronized to an assignee's email or collated into a digest email at predefined intervals. In the workflow section, we can configure task boards. The My Tasks board shows assigned tasks for the current user. And on the Tasks page, the Tasks dashboard shows assigned tasks for the project team. We can add and remove columns and choose which statuses are displayed in them. Tasks with unmapped statuses will be hidden from task boards. We can sort and group notes with note labels. I've created a label here called My Comments, which I'll apply to a note entered on a task in my project. We can define priorities for our tasks here. In the List Categories page, I'll create a category, return to my project, select some tasks to add to a list, and store it under the newly created category. Now my list can be found under the category in the sidebar, and used for filtering my view, or launching a playlist of associated versions. Next, we'll take a look at scheduling settings, where we can define our workday length, our working days, whether to measure bid time in days or hours, and whether to schedule tasks with precise timings. We can determine whether or not users may log time on behalf of other users, and whether a task status automatically switches to in progress when versions are uploaded. In the Advanced section, we can manage user-created view layouts for the task page and user-created dashboards. Under Advanced Settings, we can enable Automatic Version Numbering, which will set version numbers from source file names. We can also determine whether thumbnail images are inherited from parent objects, as in this example, where task thumbnails are inherited from the parent shop. The Experimental section allows us to try out new features under development, such as new players and the Noteboard for the Overview page. Under Review Settings, we can set our default player, enable third-party players, set encoding quality for web proxies, determine whether client review comments are attached to versions or their parent tasks, identify client reviewers on notes, and when the Review Pro option is enabled, we can set up forensic watermarking to protect our content. 